welcome back to Ronzi. Honestly, I appreciate your presence so much. You just don't know it. Now we are going to discuss diabetes. If you haven't met Dr. Lube, refer to our last episode. We got to meet him. We got to know things about him. So you go ahead and check it out. And uh, before we begin, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you want to come and see Dr. Lube, let us know in the comment section so that we can connect you. Dr. thank you so, so much for joining me again. Thank you, Ronji. It's my pleasure again to be here. Thank you. And today we want to talk about diabetes. Yes. Ugonjwa wa kisukari. Yes. And guys, let's just listen in. Personally, I don't have, I don't take sugar, but the only sugar you can give me again is to subscribe to the channel. So let's go right ahead and know what diabetes is. Yeah, diabetes in the simplest English and the, the way we, we could put it uh, simply is uh, a condition in which our bodies are unable to use sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, for one for reason energy. or another. Usually, the body uses sugar as a source of energy. Yes. Just like, say, the fuel in your car. Yes. You put in petrol and yes. petrol runs the engine. Yes. For the petrol to run the engine, mm -hmm. it has to move from the petrol tank yes. into the engine. Yes. What pushes that petrol into the engine yes. is, is a gadget we call the, the fuel pump. Yes. Yes. So in the body we have a fuel pump mm -hmm. whose job is to get the sugar which, which we, we make consume. from the food we eat. Yes, to convert it into Yes, most energy. of the food we eat. Yes. In the form of energy like carbohydrates, yes. starch, yes. the sugars themselves, yes. they are all changed into a simple sugar we call glucose. Mm -hmm. And that glucose is the one that runs your body to give it energy. Okay. And for it to do so, it has to get into the, from the stomach, yes. uh, in the intestines, yes. into the blood, and then from the blood into the different tissues, muscles, and so on, mm -hmm. to make them work. Yes. yes and when so in diabetes mm -hmm. that doesn't happen efficiently mm -hmm. yeah. so the fuel pump is maybe a bit faulty we could put it that way yes, as, a yes. way of, uh, as an example the fuel pump is not working well so mm -hmm. the sugar doesn't get there it lies around in your blood for long periods mm -hmm. yes okay instead of it being converted into energy for use yes who is at risk of acquiring diabetes I think all of us. Yeah. Uh, but more for, well, partly uh, if you have relatives who are diabetic, mm -hmm. close blood relatives who are yes. diabetic, you have a higher chance. Yes. If you are overweight, mm -hmm. if you are not physically active, yes. Uh, if you are not eating properly, mm -hmm. eating foods that are very nutrition rich, rich in, um, in 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 uh, energy but yes. simple energy yes which can simple foods which are, can be changed into sugar very quickly yes then uh, you increase your chances of, of becoming acquiring diabetic. Diabetic. yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you've talked about food and, and and exercise and you know keeping your weight down and that yes. makes me think lifestyle aids in either acquiring or Staying away from diabetes. Yes, it is even the main treatment. It is the main treatment. Uh, if you are already diabetic, yes. we are telling you to uh, change uh, some assume of a certain lifestyle mm -hmm. where you increase your exercise. Yes. And you increase your, you reduce your weight. Yes. And uh, you eat healthy. Mm -hmm. Eating healthy means basically foods that don't change into sugar very quickly wholesome food in other words not processed foods yes they are most natural form mm -hmm. foods in their most natural form okay yeah wow um that's that that's a good thing to note that lifestyle is the major thing behind diabetes mm -hmm. and so when you see a patient a patient has come to you they're explaining why they've come to visit you they are giving you their history and their complaints what is it what strikes you what is the one thing they say and in your mind you feel like this could be diabetic? Uh, 
Yeah, you, you, you would call that symptoms of yes. the presentation. Of yes, the yes. Uh, it, it, it depends on the stage. Mm -hmm. Those who are already frankly diabetic, mm -hmm. yes, they are already quite sick in the acute form of the disease. They yes. will be quite sick. Mm -hmm. They'll be feeling tired. Mm. They'll be getting thirsty. Mm -hmm. They'll be going to the washroom for a short call many, many times. Yes. They'll be drinking a lot of water. And they will tell you they, they just feel terrible. They could have aches and pains. Mm -hmm. They could have um, digestive issues. Yes. Um, getting a lot of a lot of gas, a lot of bloating, mm -hmm. and so on. Yes. Uh, so it, it you could say it doesn't spare any part of the body. Yes. When the sugar, when there's too much sugar already in the blood, they yes. may not even see clearly. Mm -hmm. They have clouding of their vision. Blood vision. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. So, but in the early stages, it could just be somebody who has gained a weight, has gained or lost weight. Gained or lost weight. Okay. Yes. Over the last two, three months, mm -hmm. I find I'm just feel tired and my weight is going down, although I'm eating. Yes. You know, that yes. kind of story. Yes. Or somebody else who says, I, I, I find I'm gaining a lot of weight mm -hmm. and um, I'm trying to keep it down. I'm not eating a lot and yet the yes. weight is just coming. Yes. You know, so those kind of weight changes yes. make it uh, suspicious that uh, maybe there could be something going on mm -hmm. uh, in, in regard to the yeah, sugar, sugar, the use of sugar by the body. Yes. yes. Okay. Wow. And so... One thing we would love to know, is the management there, is the treatment there for diabetes, how do we handle it? Yeah, the, the diabetes is a condition, which yes. once you have it, then you have it. Yes. And uh, first of all, of course, we must give you the education. Yes. It's very important that you understand mm -hmm. what it means to be diabetic. Yes. Then we also empower you. Mm hmm once you understand because it's you who's going to manage it yourself yes. we are only advisors with the medical team yes and uh, so we educate you mm -hmm. and then we empower you by giving you the knowledge yes then um, we follow you up now yes. as we follow up we will know whether lifestyle adjustment alone is enough mm -hmm. that is diet exercise and, 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 and weight control yes or whether, or whether you also need medication. medication. And there are medications. Mm -hmm. Medications these days. Yes. Some which you would swallow, some which can be injected. Okay. Mm. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing all that with us. Before we wind up, I would like us because you know, we we have myths and facts concerning diabetes. We would love you to clear for us up what the facts are concerning diabetes and what the myths are and so we are going to read some statements and Dr. Tari is going to clear for us up whether it's a fact or it's a myth are you ready Dr. Tari? yes number one if you have anyone in your family with diabetes you must you must uh, sorry you must acquire diabetes no not really not really. You have a higher chance. Yeah. But you don't have to. Even if both of your parents are diabetic, it doesn't mean you must also be diabetic. Oh, okay. And if you don't have a parent who is or a relative who is, yes. it doesn't mean you are now immune mm -hmm. to diabetes. No, you can still get diabetes. Okay. So that's a myth. Mm -hmm. Number two, your sex drive is affected when you are diabetic. Yes, it can be. That's a fact. Yes, it's a fact. Oh. Is, does that affect men alone or women alone both. or is it both? Both. both. It's both? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Number three, diabetes can be reversed. No, that's a myth. It can be slowed. It can be slowed. Okay. Slowed down, if you want to put it that way. Yes. So, But reversing it, no. You may feel very well after acquiring certain those recommended lifestyle measures. Yes. But when you relax on them, yes, it then it promptly comes back. And I, yes. And even when you're on medication and you control it properly and you say, no, hooray, my diabetes is healed. Yes. When you stop, 
it probably it comes, comes back. back yeah so in that sense therefore you cannot really reverse it yes okay thank you so much what's the last thing that somebody somebody out there is watching this video and they are diabetic what is your message to them uh, my message to all of us is yes. that uh, diabetes is a, a condition any one of us can have yes it's a condition which you can still live with positively if you do the right things yes and uh, you don't have to despair it's not an end yes if you take good care of yourself you should be able to live a normal life, life. yes and if you do not take care of it then it is uh, one of those bad conditions which can actually eventually take your life mm -hmm. uh, because it does not spare any system yes. in the part of your body yes. it is a disease that affects the whole body mm -hmm. yes thank you so much thank you thank, thank you so much. much thank you so much for shedding light on diabetes i hope this is just the first of many episodes that you'll be joining us in to shed some more light Thank you. It will be my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We don't take your being here for granted. And so my viewers, thank you so much. If you need to see Dr. Lube once again, he practices in town at the CBD, Reinsurance Plaza, first floor. Let us know in the comment section. I'm going to leave my email address on the comment section so that you can reach out if you need to see Dr. Alube. Until next time, God bless you. Thank you very much, Ronji. Thank you.